hello friends welcome back i am faraz and in today's excel video we are going to learn how to group the data over here and this would be really amazing i have did earlier the video how we can group the data combine the text basically for the customers you have a repeated value and you want to get it in one cell so let's dive in today and build the solution together i'll be using the dynamic arrays and i'll be using the lambda and the let function and i'm going to show you one bonus step as well how you can handle it so let's go and build the solution together in order to get the customer relative id what we are going to do first thing is the we are going to call the unique function we'll call the unique function over here and unique is these customers so we are basically looking at these customers and it's unique and let's go and close the parentheses enter and we got the names of the unique customer now the next part of this formula is really interesting because we will be using the filter function we will call the filter function and we will be looking the array what we want to return this is the array that we would like to return it we'll press f4 make it absolute reference and then we will call the customers over here and customer as well we are going to make it as an absolute reference and equals to i'll be calling this as alice and we are just going to close the parentheses enter and we got all the order ids related to alice now we can grab this function what we have written over here and wrap it to into another function which is called text join now text join now why i am using text join because it gives me flexibility to use the delimiter so here if i need to choose a delimiter which is a pipe character i can use that and i can say ignore the cells value yes ignore the empty cells comma and the formula which we have built it up over here we are going to paste that one and close parentheses so as you can see we got this over here now we can even do it with the array text function so let's say that if i wrap this into text array array to text array to text and just close parentheses enter we got it into comma so array to text will just wrap it into and convert it into text value which is really handy for me but with the text join what i can do is i can basically uh, wrap it into different kind of a delimiter which i would like to do it so let's go and build it again text join text join and my delimiter will be comma and a space comma and it would be for true and close parentheses enter now if i'm going to drill down this one i'm going to pull it down great we are getting this numbers so but if i add some other name or if i just pull this and use the dynamic arrays and when i press enter i hit with an error now this is the part which i would like to solve it with the help of the map and lambda function so what we will be doing over here is since it is not able to iterate on every row we need to let this function get iterated on every row so once it get iterated on every row with the help of the map function we can build our solution so let's copy this and now we are going to call this map function and this map array will be directing it to these arrays over here which is the spill array of the unique values so it's going to go and iterate every time that action and to iterate that i will call the lambda function and in lambda function i'm going to give any parameter over here so let's call this parameter as x and in that x value i'm going to paste the calculation so calculation is nothing but the function what we have built and we paste it over here now this x value which is nothing but the value of the iterated values of all the cells which is there, alex bob and charlie and we need to call this x value and replace it over here which is giving the error now when i will close the parentheses enter i should i should get the value correctly over here and this is fine yes so it was just about the brackets which i have not closed it correctly and now it's working fine so 
this is the way how you can do it really dynamic way so let's say that you instead of bob or if you have another value coming up uh, let's say that it is for us and it is 1009 and if you like to get that then you have to make sure that your range is expandable now to do that i would always recommend you to use excel tables and you can expand the range and it should work fine because see over here we haven't expanded that range so that's the reason it was not expanding it so here is the best solution what i can show it to you with the help of the map and lambda function so if you like the solution my friends make sure that you hit a like button share it subscribe it and i'll be very happy to hear your feedbacks how are you solving such kind of problems See you soon in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.